little brush fly so welcome back to my channel brush fly nua if you're new here hi my name is mercedes i'm the face behind brush fly nua and if you are new hi welcome please remember to subscribe to my channel honestly my brain's just gone to sleep and if you're not new hi welcome back i think that's what i was going to say and i've just put my finger in lipstick i've been playing with lipstick and i'm a mess so i have some really exciting news well, it's not my exciting news, it's someone else's exciting news, but it's exciting for the UK because, lipstick drum roll please, Kylie Cosmetics is coming to the UK. So, she already sells a bit of Kylie skin in Selfridges, I believe it is, and I do believe that it's Kylie Cosmetics is now already live in Selfridges, you can go there and buy it, but it is coming to boot. I am so, so damn excited that Kylie Cosmetics is coming to Boots because for years I have been ordering Kylie Cosmetics from her website, paying customs charges, you know, not knowing whether what I want is what I want because you can only see it on the screen. Technically, you're still going to be seeing it on the screen because it'll be on the Boots website. I believe it's only going to be in selected Boots stores, but... That means you could potentially go to a Boots store and see Kylie Cosmetics. So, you know, it's kind of exciting, you know, like when Fenty came to Boots and Urban Decay and all of that lot. So it's really, really exciting because Boots at the moment are really upping their game in the makeup world. They are definitely, definitely trying to make themselves a bit like a, a UK version of Sephora. That's what I imagine Boots wants themselves to be. So Sephora, what I imagine, because I've never been there, it's like a big makeup -y shop. Big, big makeup -y shop. So we kind of have shops like that over here. We have Superdrug and we have Boots. Boots is also like a pharmacy as well. They deal with people's prescriptions and they sell medications and all that kind of stuff. But they also really focus on makeup. Like at Christmas time, the aisles are full of makeup and I love it. You can get your like three for two discounts. It's, it's brilliant. And then in the January sales and they knock everything down to like 50% off. Honestly, oh my God, how exciting would that be if they did a Kylie Cosmetics gift set in the three for two. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's not even nowhere near Christmas, but yes. I'm so excited because obviously Kylie Cosmetics is coming to Boots. So for years, us in the UK have had to shop on her website and pay horrendous custom charges. But that will be no more because Boots, you can simply order it, have it delivered, pick it up in store. It's going to be so nice and easy. And I don't know why she didn't do it sooner. For years, us over here in the UK have been screaming at Kylie to bring Kylie Cosmetics and Kylie Skin to the UK and it was either last year or the year before and she actually brought Kylie Skin to the UK and I was like oh my god it's not gonna be long Kylie Cosmetics is gonna come and then it was like silence there was no Kylie Cosmetics and I was like as much as I would like to try Kylie Skin I'm more into the makeup side of stuff so you know it's really frustrating but I'm so glad she's finally done it now I don't know whether it's because she has now had Cody or Cody buy that huge stake in her business that has meant they have been able to expand her business into different countries and bring her to the UK. Now I know that Seed Beauty was Kylie's original sort of parent company and they did like the formulas, everything in house, all that kind of thing. But I think they were very much American based. They're behind Colourpop, they're behind Tutty Beauty, they're behind quite a few brands. And those are the brands that you look at and they are predominantly based in the USA. They are not in the UK, there's nowhere that really sells them in the UK. So my guess is because she had Cody bring, or Cody, buy that huge stake in her business, has meant she has been able to expand properly 
over here and into other countries so it is so so exciting now i do know there was like a big hoo-ha going on with kylie at one point i honestly thought she was going to close down i thought it was the end of kylie cosmetics i her instagram was empty her website had nothing on it i honestly thought kylie cosmetics was going honestly but i'm so happy to say i was wrong and that what she has done is like a rebrand now i think it's because where she was with seed beauty they do all their formulations and product design and all that in-house in their factories and they didn't want the new cody brand to know their secret formulas and what they do so i think kylie had to pull everything from her website and possibly that's why she pulled everything from her instagram as well and she started fresh so she's kind of rebranded but not changed the name it's still kylie cosmetics but now she's come back and her website is up and running again she's got products to buy she said it's now clean it's vegan she wanted to change it to bring it more up to date because a lot of companies are vegan and cruelty free that kind of thing i don't know whether it's cruelty free but i do know it's vegan and clean <laughs> But you know, I think it's a really good thing that she's brought Kylie Cosmetics into the future. She's not just left it as it was. And maybe a lot of people sort of worried about her being sort of partnered with someone else and them having a majority stake. But I actually think maybe it was a good thing. Because it has meant her business could expand. Maybe there's going to be fresh new ideas. I think Seed Beauty as a parent company are really, really good. I mean, I love Kylie Cosmetics. I have some of her old collections. I have Balmain, I have Coco, um, I have the Kris Jenner collection. I love all of them. So her being with Seed Beauty was good. They made some fantastic stuff that I love. Have to admit, I wasn't overly keen on the liquid lips. And that is how the Kylie brand came about but for me I'll have to do a video on it wearing one of her lip kits but for me I just found they peeled off my lips way too easily they didn't wear very nicely not the best formula I have others that I prefer so I'm hoping now that she has done this formula rebrand that I'm gonna like them a bit more so I do have a video idea I am just waiting for it to go live on Boots website to be able buy one so um it's not live on boots yet if you go onto the boots website and you type it in you can sign up to an email waiting list and they will alert you as soon as it is i do believe like they have put later this year that could mean next month it could mean in a couple of months time it could mean near christmas i have no idea but i am so so damn excited that kylie cosmetics is coming to the uk I just, I'm so excited. I'm ecstatic. I mean, I have loved her brand since day dot. I really do like the Kardashians. They are like my secret guilty pleasure. The Jenner side of the family are hilarious and I love them. So yeah, I'm so glad it's not closing down. I'm so glad I was wrong. I will link that video down below if you want to check it out. But it's kind of meaningless now because I got it wrong. But I'm so glad I got it wrong. So yeah, I wish her all the luck coming to the UK with her business. So yeah, fingers crossed, the formulas are better and it's good. Cannot wait. So yeah, that was the exciting news. I know it's not my exciting news, but to me, that is exciting news. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.